She feels very hot. She took off her shirt but it didn't help, she still sweated a lot. The ventilation duct radiates heat, which raises the room temperature to over 50 degrees Celsius. The temperature was rising continuously. Why was she stuck in this hellish place? The woman is a reporter. Knowing that the new tunnel in the city was about to be completed, she comes there to take some interviews. Unexpectedly during the interview, there was gas leaking in the tunnel. For her safety, the manager took her to an enclosed space. Then he went to investigate alone, but he did not come back. There must be a fire outside. She didn't know how to get out. Suddenly the reporter discovered someone outside. She shouted. She told the man to save her. The man told her to turn off the ventilation tube. She struggled for a while, but she still couldn't do it. The man said the pressure on both sides was not the same. If they suddenly opened the door then the pressure difference would kill everyone. The man looked for a way to increase the pressure in the reporter's room. After a while, she started feeling short of breath. Her nose and her ears appeared a feeling of serious congestion. Then an explosion rang in her ears. She was in pain. She screamed. The man has finished increasing his pressure. She calmed down. With the man's guidance, she tried to open the valve, but her strength was insufficient. She used a wooden stick to hit it. Finally, the valve was opened. The man helped her to open the door. She got through. The man closes the ventilation tube. The reporter quickly finished drinking a full bottle of water. She looks around. She finds out that she has yet to come outside. This is just another closed room. She is now stuck with Evo and Baron. They were trapped there. Luckily, Evo had closed the ventilation tube so they didn't need to worry about the temperature for the time being. But when they run out of oxygen, they would die. The phone cord was burned, the cell phone did not have any signal. The reporter does not want to die. She wants to open the compartment door to go out into the tunnel and asks for help. Evo hurriedly stopped her. If there was still fire outside, he said, when she opened the door, the oxygen inside would set them on fire. Even if the fire was out, the heat and the smoke still remained. They will have to hold their breath to go a very long way to get the oxygen bags. But that is not possible. The only way now is to wait. But the oxygen will eventually run out. There is very little oxygen here, the reporter has to breathe very hard to not suffocate. Next to her, there are two men. Despite their best efforts, they will definitely not endure this much longer. She recalls that the manager once gave her a rescue box. Inside there is a fire jacket and an oxygen bag. She wants to go get the box. She woke Evo up. She made an excuse to go to the toilet. Evo did not suspect anything. He opened the door to let her through. She looked through the doorway, but she couldn't see anyone peeping. She gently took the aid box. She was afraid that the sound of opening the box would be heard, so she slowly put the box down. She picked up the door in the ground. She wanted to lock the door so that the other two men couldn't get in. She was tense, her hands were trembling. She hurriedly tightened the lock. But Evo quickly opened it. Evo entered the room, Baron stood in front of the door. Then Evo discovered the aid box. He wanted to take it. While Evo struggled with the reporter, they broke the lamp. Evo turned- the dust from the outside of the glass door. That was the rescue team. They were about to be saved. Evo was very happy. He gave Baron a plier and told him to untie the reporter. The rescue team stood outside. Evo began to reduce pressure. But the rescue team said something had happened so they had to wait. The reporter cannot stand it anymore. Suddenly they heard a loud explosion. It destroyed their last hope. Outside the fire was huge. Surely it was difficult for the rescue team to survive. When the three people didn't know what to do, the temperature in the room suddenly rose. The water bottle suddenly started to smoke, the sole of the shoe was melting. Baron hurriedly climbed to another compartment. The reporter tried to take the last gulp of air. Finally, the door was opened. This place was a flooded tunnel. Evo was surrounded by white smoke, he raised his hand for help. Baron pulled him in, but soon he stopped breathing. Baron hugged him and cried in pain. The reporter sat quietly. She was pondering what they would do. Suddenly there was a loud noise. Maybe another tunnel was exploded. This place could collapse at any moment. They have to go. She climbed up to the top and closed the door of the compartment so the smoke could not enter. She followed the cliff, digging with her hands. This tunnel was about to be completed, it was very close to the exit. She asked Baron to get in from the hole. She went downstairs to find the oxygen bag. Next, the reporter also entered it. She turned on the phone to have some lights. Baron was in a coma. She dug through the mud. She touched a few pieces of rock. 
She guessed that the side behind the rock was the exit. She took the box to beat it. Her hand was torn, the box was filled with blood. But the rock remains undamaged. She could not continue anymore. She woke Baran up. They hugged to cope with the cold. She played the video on her phone. It was a scene where she and her daughter were playing. She laughed. Her daughter was her only hope to try to survive. After watching all the videos, she returned to reality. Baran continued to be in a coma. She took the oxygen bag beside him. She took a few breaths. Then she inserted a snorkel into Baran's mouth for him to breathe. They took turns using oxygen bags to try to survive. But the oxygen gradually got less. It was no longer enough for them. They fought each other again for it. They became more and more aggressive. Finally, Baran won. Then, a ray of light shined straight in. There were digging sounds. They were saved and were taken to the emergency room. Baran is not seriously injured, but the reporter's respiratory tract was seriously problematic. They look at each other. Together they became the scariest people, they were like two beasts that tore each other apart in a narrow space.